Hello YouTube and welcome to a new Tax Loss video. I'm here with a brand new Apple iPad 2018 or Apple iPad 6th generation device. This is the color golden and this is only the basic Wi-Fi version. Here in Europe the device costs 350 euros and with that price it's the cheapest Apple iPad I've ever seen on the market. So 32 gigabytes Wi-Fi only and as Apple is called it's the sixth generation. No, the iPad Air and the iPad Air 2 uh, do not count into this generation counting. For comparison reasons I got here the Apple iPad 5th generation or iPad 2017 and maybe one of the biggest competitors of those both devices, the Apple iPad Air 2, which is of course still slimmer and lighter than both devices and feels nicer in the, your hands. But first of all, let's check out the new iPad 6 or iPad 2018. So we open up the box. There we go. It's a golden color. Let's first check out what else is in the box. We got our USB type A to lightning charger. Uh, we got some papers and we got the Apple charger, which got a normal USB uh, port and uh, power output of 10 watt. Okay, let's check out the color of the stickers and the handbooks. So we got our starter guides here, some warranty informations, and there we got the stickers, which are white. So no golden stickers with your golden iPad. No, no, no. So let's grab the iPad and unwrap it. Nice. And yes, you can see, yes, it's a golden version and the gold is a little bit darker than previous generation of gold devices, but still it looks a little bit, depending on how you hold the device and how the lightning conditions are, it's a little bit silver, a little bit copper, a little bit red, a little bit yellow. So this changes a lot. But can you see the, red, uh, the golden color from the front? Yes, you can see it on two things. Number one, on the home button, which comes, of course, with Touch ID. So we've got the fingerprint scanner. There is no Face ID. No, this is a cheap entry-level iPad, so no high-tech Face ID technology here. And still, if you are looking directly on the screen, you still notice the golden frame surrounding the white front frame, surrounding the display. So yes, you will always notice that you got an old uh, golden iPad. So in terms of build quality or in terms of design, this is again this shallow build thingy. You don't have a straight connection between the touch screen and the display and the glass on the front side. This is exactly the same feeling you get with the normal iPad or the iPad 2017. This is not, so let's call it the high quality build thingy or the slim design that we know from the iPad Air 2. This feels way nicer in your hand and I guarantee you if someone put both devices in your hands uh, you, or all three devices in your hands, you will definitely go with the iPad Air 2. But there are good reasons to go with the new devices. Number one, the iPad Air 2 is now four or five years old, which still comes with the A8X, I guess. Uh, as a CPU in the as 2017, we got the A9X, and here we got the A10 Fusion. So this iPad should at least be maybe 50% more, got you more performance, more power than the last year's generation. But still, I'm pretty sure you don't have to change. There are only three things that the new iPad can do better. Uh, number one, it's cheaper. Starting price of this device was 400. Now we go back to, uh, down to 350. Uh, number two is uh, mentioned uh, A10 Fusion chip, so it's faster. And number three, we got the built-in capacity for, for uh, operating the device with the Apple Pencil. This is one feature you only could do with the iPad Pro versions, not with the normal iPads. So this is the first normal iPad that you can use the Apple Pencil with. And the Apple Pencil is now cheaper, 10 euros less, at least here in Europe. So if you want to do, operate the device with your Apple, uh, with an Apple Pencil and you don't want to spend some extra money on an iPad Pro, uh, this is a cheaper option. But you don't get the 120Hz display. Keep that in mind and we're going to figure out how good is the drawing, uh, or how well can you can draw and write with Apple Pencil on this display in comparison to the Apple iPad Pro. And another thing the normal iPad does not have uh, compared to the iPad Pro, there's no smart connector on the side, so you can't use those Apple smart keyboards, those covers, 
with the built-in keyboard. You can't use them because there is no smart connector and you need the Apple smart connector to use those Apple original uh, Apple uh, adapter thingies. But what about your normal 9.7 inch stuff, your connectors, your, your smart covers and so you still can use them without problems. They will fit perfectly. Ooh, my red thing is already broken. No, not broken, but ooh, look at that. Not nice build Apple. Why, why, why? But if you want to use the iPad as a keyboard or as a writing machine with an external keyboard, you can do this maybe with external stuff like from Logitech or those folio thingies or other thingies. But keep in mind, those are only normal Bluetooth keyboards. So one last step. Let's go around the device. On the left side, we got the volume buttons, two, one down, one up. We got an off button up here. We got a microphone and yes, we still got a headphone jack. And for the cheap price, we don't get Apple earpods, uh, but we never got Apple earpods with an iPad. So this is a Wi-Fi version. So we got no SIM card tray here. And we down here, we got the two speakers and the lightning port for charging. On the back side, we see the shiny Apple logo, which will get scratches really easily. Another microphone and the 8 megapixel camera, which is uh, built into the device. So no camera is standing out. Uh, this device will record videos in full HD, 1080p. And on the front side, we get uh, um, one point, I guess 1.2 megapixel camera, which will record FaceTime calls or videos in 720p. So this is exactly the same stuff we already know from the iPad 2017. So um, this is it. First impression, this is just another iPad. I'm really happy that Apple has changed the price. I'm a little bit skeptical because if you combine the price of 350, then maybe another 100 for the pencil and then another maybe 100 for, for, an, uh, for a keyboard case, then you got a price point of 550 euros for a standard iPad with a pencil, with a keyboard and this should be the device for students. I don't think so. Um, this is the perfect thing if you just want to consume stuff. If you're going to sit on a couch or in the bed or in your holiday and you just want an iPad. And this is a device I'm pretty sure will last you four or five years and you will be happy with the device. And you don't, and, and, and you, in my opinion, you definitely have to switch from either of those devices, especially if you don't got an iPad 2017. And even if you still got an iPad Air 2, I would not recommend a switch. But if you're now in the market for buying a new iPad, um, then yes, maybe wait a couple of weeks and the first iPad 2018 devices should fall in price. Different traders should give you special offers. And but I'm pretty sure this is another nice device that will last you, as I mentioned, a couple of years. So this, um, this ain't iPhones, which you will exchange every two or three years. No, this are iPads, which you will still use in four or five, maybe six years. But this is it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.